1984, there were only two Albertans at the Olympics representing Canada from Alberta. And it, that was 84, and in 88, Calgary was going to host the Olympics. And I remember I talked to the government of Alberta, and at that time I was saying the Alberta Sport Council, and they said, we want Albertans to be at that Olympics. And I remember we did a, what we called the 80 Olympic search, and we went out we, to the grassroots, and we got people going, and bobsled and luge, and cross-country skiing. Make a long story short, we went from two athletes in Sarajevo in 84 to uh, 19 uh, athletes in 88, and now Calgary, Canada, uh, I'm Alberta, own the Canadian Olympic team. So that's, that was fun to watch and, uh, and help develop. I lost my first four fights and uh, thought I should give up. I was, I think, 15 or 16 at the time. This was a 23, 24 year old guy. I thought, you know, God, I'm gonna die tonight. And uh, I remember I got in the ring and I, I looked out and the mayor of my hometown was there and uh, the, the barber and all of the people were who and what. I thought, oh, I'm gonna be an embarrassment. And I was, I ran around the ring and I remember the referee um, stopped the fight and he was a local guy and here I'm fighting this older Montana fighter that had won the Butte Montana Golden Gloves and everything. And uh, he said, he looked at me in the eye and he said, uh, and, and you think they're looking to see if you're conscious and focused, but he didn't. He says, Max, you look terrible. He says, we expect more of you. Now either get in there and be who you should be and fight like you should, or get the hell out of this ring. And that was the biggest turning point in my life. I thought, you know, I must look like hell. You know, how embarrassing is this? And so I went in and I fought. I thought, at least I'm not gonna, I'm gonna live or die on this one. And I remember I fought like mad. And uh, at the end of the fight, it was a split decision. Two judges for him and one for me. I thought, you know, if I'd have started earlier, I would have beat this guy. And that, and, and I, it gave me the confidence. I, I remember I was never going to fight after the night, based on the early fear. And I think I went on after that and won 19 straight fights. Met Cassius Clay, which was another great experience. And the first, we got stuck in an elevator because he got us stuck in the elevator hitting. They weren't very <laughs> technically good those days, and he was hitting the walls and warming up and everything. And in the first three minutes, he told me. He would win that tournament, which was the second biggest and best boxing tournament in the, in the world, other than the Olympics. Uh, he would win that tournament. He'd won his fight th that night, and I, I'd won mine, and I was pretty pr proud about that, but you don't brag up against him. And then he said, I'll win this tournament. I'm going to win the Olympics next year in Rome, and I'll go on and become the greatest heavyweight of all times. And I thought, oh, I rolled my eyes. To my amazement, and he did all of it, and and we actually stayed friends and are connected to this day. It was one of my highlights. Uh, it's like coming from a little town. It was uh, the sportsman was the hero, you know, and 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 sort of to uh, have been recognized in what I thought was the greatest level, the Alberta Sport Hall of Fame was extremely meaningful to me.